hello and welcome how are you doing next I am planning to show you that how to replace this General Motors Ecotec 2.2 liter engines these crankshaft bearings and now I have take this oil sump away and here we can see this crankshaft what is in there and next I am planning to replace and open those crankshaft bearings. And first I need to open these big bolts what are in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 per in this line 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 6 times, sorry 5, 30 bolts and these bolts I start to open those next Okay, and then when we start to open these bolts, we need first socket. What size is this? 15 millimeter, and then this long bar because these bolts are quite tight and tighten. I start in here. I insert that in there, and then then I I start to rotate, and then next. Next one, and these bolts are so tight that they keep nice noise as in here. Nice cracking. And then I take this this bolt, one bolt away, and then there is idea that we first open in here and then in here and here and here that this this uh, there should be this plain idea okay, I open that bolt and, and these bolts are big and yes they are they are really big they are like 10, 10 inches, 25 inches long. Okay, good. And, and then when I have take all of these bolts out, also in here, here's bolts, then we continue. Okay, and now all bolts are they are loosened and I can lift this out. I need to lift up that part out in here and, and I need to take new tool next. Okay, and then I have moved that engine block in, in, in that area, this area, and there is a small line in here and I need that kind of sharp tool would be in here. And then when I start to bend that and then a little bit hammer, hammer this line becomes bigger. And I, I insert that hammer also in here. Okay. Then I This is line in here, and in this opposite side there is similar, and I hammer also that away. Okay, and there is similar area in here. Okay. 
there is now a little bit glue in between that part and that part. There we can see this glue. And, and I okay. Now this this hole becomes bigger. It's good and I go in this other side to hammer in that side also. Okay, now it's bigger. And in that area, I need to hammer more. This side, that side, there is, there is area where I can insert the tool here. Now this part is almost loosened. Okay, now this part is now this part is released. Okay, and now we have to take this crankshaft bearings out and we look next these parts closer. Okay, and so this was the starting position. And, and now when these bolts are away and also this glue, I can, I can take this bearing area and, and rotate that in carefully in opposite side. And here we can see those ball be those bearings plates. And when we very carefully hammer these parts, they they start to move. They are in there. And, and, and now when I hammer a little bit that side, these plates, plates are moving. And here is this GM Ecotex, this bearing plate. This is this bearing plate in this pillow area. And then I think that, that this is a like this full, full package. And in other side of this bearings is in this 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 crank crankset area. But before of that, we look a little bit this bearing place situation, and I take clean cotton cloth. Okay, and then I add this cotton cloth. I, I clean this bearing place. I check that. What is this status? And also in that one. And when I clean, I can see that. There is a little bit scratches in there, and these scratches, they are not good sign. And also in there, there are those scratches, and that means that that these uh, bearing plates, they are quite worn out, and it's good to check that that are these bearing plates still usable. Here is this silver metallic bearing plate material. But this this scratches in in this bearing plates it is bad signal. Okay and then we check this crankshaft. And there is this crankshaft. And, and we 
when I move these cranks of the parts it moves nicely and there is this oil gasket there is interesting sensor plate in here in that area. and then I check that this crankshaft moves nicely no any issues and, and in here it moves in here and also in that area Moves, yes, it moves, but before of that, I need to open this uh, this connection roads bolts in here. It's my next task. Okay, and then when I am opening and disassembling these connection rods, I need this 11 11 millimeter socket what fits in these bolts like in that way I open those and then I open these a little bit rotation rotate and rotation and then first bolt is release and it looks in that one and then when I have taken all of these bolts in here out, we continue. Okay, and then there is this bolt what I need to open. I rotate the plate and, and then I can then I can move it and I can lift small hammer and then the parts opens. And there is this connection rod, this bearing, bearing plate and I clean that and this looks not so much scratches. But there is this burn out raisin that there is this OK bearing plate and this is, this is like quite worn out, that part too. Ok, there is this and that one and, and there is this final part in there, I take that. Ok, and now all these connection rods also are released and this was the final one. And then I can take my hands in here and I can lift this, maybe this cranks out, if everything is okay. Okay! And there, then we have this crank shaft. It is in there. Okay, and this was this job, how to open and this assemble and replace this crank set. Okay, thank you for watching.